Break out your textbooks, your Ticonderogas, and your TI-83s because this is Carryology, and we're talking about back-to-school backpacks today. Welcome back to another Carryology video. Whether you're going back to school yourself, maybe you got some little ones or some college kids on the way back to class, I got some great quality options here that are gonna be budget friendly and have everyone ready when school kicks off. So instead of talking about report cards, due dates and things like that, let's talk about carry. First up, we have a universal crowd pleaser. This is the City Pack from Air out of San Francisco. This bag kind of does it all. Aesthetically, it's really clean and minimalist. It's, it's simple and elegant. But when you dig under the hood, there's a lot of smarts put into the organization in here, the comfort and the utility too. So if you see yourself as a minimalist or maybe you're someone who wears all black or you're a young professional who heads to school after a long day at work and need to go seamlessly between the two, this city pack is gonna be a great option for you. Let's get into the details. The outer is made of 1680D Cordura. It's ultra rugged but the patterning and design keeps it looking modern, not tactical. We got some YKK zips here, zipper pulls on the main zippers, made of Duraflex hardware that have a nice air branding on them. This half pocket on the front here is AquaGuard sealed, but the rest are not. We got handles, we got lots of handles here. Well, two. Uh, we got a top handle and a side handle. And Air makes great grab handles. They're seat belt material, so they're nice and smooth, but they're also really padded. I have duffel bags that are not this nice to carry, so bravo to air. We have a D-ring on one side. There are two nylon lash points on either side of the bag in case in a pinch you need to attach something with a hero clip or a carabiner. Uh, we have a slim water bottle pocket on one side here. This is a small Kento thermos. And it fits in here because there's a little a little bit of elasticity on the back, but even this small thermos is pushing into the bag. So big Nalgene users, you might have to get a new bottle if you want this bag. On the back here, we have really nice padding on the straps and the back panel. There is a luggage pass through, which I love. I feel like all bags should do it, but I know it's kind of contentious sometimes. I love them. This style, the bag has to be sideways. So keep that in mind. Um, these straps are padded the same way the back panel is. They're well ventilated. On the straps themselves, we got a D-ring. We got a sternum strap with a nice fidlock style magnetic closure. I'm just a really big fan of this design because it's unique to people that are really looking at it, but to everyone else, it's just a black backpack. So it's, it's nice for blending in, but there's a lot of premium details in this. All right, we'll kind of go from back to front here. This is the main compartment. I got a pouch in here, rain jacket all folded up, a 13, 14 inch laptop, but this will fit a 16. Really nice padded and raised off the bottom laptop sleeve here, along with another uh, smaller one that will fit documents or a tablet or anything like that, a notebook if you have a larger notebook. Opposite the laptop sleeve, there are two stretch pockets where you could fit something like a mouse or sunglasses if you need to. Not an overwhelming amount of organization, but just enough to get your, your main items in place here in this main compartment. And the back laptop sleeve is lined with like a microfiber material, which is good for high-end electronics. In between the main and front compartment, there is this nice little stash pocket here. It's padded and lined with microfiber. You can keep sunglasses, your phone, or a nice waterproof point and shoot camera. On the front here, we have a little half pocket that's sealed with an AquaGuard zip. Inside, you could throw some quick access items and we do have a nice key leash here to keep track of your keys. In the front admin area, we have a full document or tablet sleeve or another small laptop if you wanted to put one in here. We have a zippered sleeve that goes almost halfway down, which is nice so things don't drop all the way to the bottom there. We got two little stretch pockets here. You can put a wallet, you can put a notebook, pin section here for Sharpies or pins, and then a mesh, mesh pocket here. You could throw some AirPods or something in. And then down below, there's two more large stretch pockets like the ones that are in the main compartment. So I have just a MacBook charger 
This is just a great admin design from Air here because it's really versatile. These, the sizing of these pockets aren't really specific. So depending on what you use, you can probably organize it in here. And it would be good for someone who doesn't want to use a tech pouch or maybe you can't afford one right now because you're in school, um, which I totally understand. But yeah, they just knocked it out of the park with this one. Big fan. The City Pack has one more trick I almost forgot about. In the main compartment is this dimension from the stash pocket. And behind it is this little mesh piece right here where you could hide an air tag, which is really, really useful. The Air City Pack will run you about $150. And this thing will get you through a few degrees I can almost guarantee it. It's really well made, really well designed. Golf clap for air. Now I'm not currently in school, so I don't have any textbooks, but I do have these cool vintage Kodak photography books that my uncle hooked me up with. So we're gonna be using them as a unit of measurement today. If you're interested, they are eight and a half by 11 and about a half inch thick. Let's do round number one of the not sponsored by Kodak capacity test here with these books. I'm just gonna do the main compartment. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, nine, eight, eight, eight. We got 10 Kodak photography books in the Air City pack. Not bad. The Oslo from Bellroy is one of their newest releases. It's slick, it's timeless. It's gonna score you some fashion points and it will crush on campus for you, guaranteed. Uh, let's take a look at it. Along with the design, one of the coolest things about this Oslo bag here from Bellroy is it's made of 100% recycled and weather resistant fabric. So flipping it around to the back here, we got some nice metal hardware on the straps. These straps have a seam down the middle to keep them in place, you know, as you kind of wiggle them back and forth over the years. It's not a ventilated back panel or ultra padded, but we're just trying to get the class in back, right? This is perfect for that. On your right side, when you're wearing the bag, you will find a nice little quick access pocket. It'll hold a phone, maybe some sunglasses, a wallet, uh, your essentials, one or two of them. And it also has a key leash for your keys or a fob if you need a fob to get into class or work. To access the main compartment of the Oslo, we have a magnetic fid lock closure here that opens the weatherproof folding opening. Uh, you're not gonna get expandability out of this. It's kind of one size fits all for this bag, but it opens up. It's this real nice kind of duck bill up top and then we'll get into the main area. I don't know if you can see in there very well. I'm gonna get you some close ups. Inside we got a no frills situation going on here with a little bit of organization. On the right side, there is a water bottle pocket or hold an umbrella or long cables. You could fit like a tech pouch in here. There's also a padded and microfiber lined laptop sleeve uh, in the back. Bellroy says 13 inch. I was able to fit a 14 inch and I personally use a 16 inch laptop and I squeezed it in there. It was real tight and it's probably not good for the bag but if you really need to, you could fit a 16 inch in here. I also got a rain jacket in there in case you're running around campus. In front of the laptop sleeve, there is one more little unpadded document sleeve or tablet if you use a laptop and a tablet. The Oslo is gonna be perfect for someone with a minimal EDC, someone who doesn't like a lot of organization or need it, or someone who just likes to toss things into a bag and run. For 130 bucks, this is a killer deal for a bag of this quality. All right, let's hit the capacity test with the Kodak books here for the Oslo by Bellroy. <laughs> 10 Kodak books for the Oslo by Bellroy. Pretty impressive. All right, next up, I have a wild, boxy, crazy looking bag from the North Face for all you cool kids out there willing to take a risk. This is the fuse box by the North Face. And I love this thing, it's wonderful. Trust me, hear me out. The outside is made with the same material as their base camp duffels. Those duffel bags have been to the North Pole, the South Pole, everywhere in between. So if it's good enough for Arctic explorers, 
it'll get you to class and back just fine. You can bet your bottom dollar. Uh, the front has this cool giant North Face logo on it that's sideways. So it kind of has people literally turning their heads when they see it. it. Comes in this yellow. It also comes in a bright red and an all black, but skip the all black and go crazy if you want to. It has a grab handle on the top, the back, the little air channel here, but this is an incredibly breathable material. If you're super sweaty, it might not be the best bet. The straps are nice and padded. There also is a sternum strap that'll move up and down on this track. On your left while you're wearing the bag, there is this quick access pocket. If there's not a lot of stuff in here, you could push into the bag a little bit and maybe get a slim water bottle, but since it's right here, it could be good for just your everyday essentials. The fuse box is a top loading design. On the top of the flap here, we have a nice mesh pocket where you could put things that you need to stay together because everything else is gonna fall down at the bottom. So any quick access items, daily essentials, keys, wallet, phone, will be great in here. There's also a key leash for those keys. Inside, uh, there is a laptop sleeve that's padded, it's raised off the bottom, and it's lined with what feels like the same fleece from the North Face Denali. Uh, it'll fit a 14, 16, maybe a 17, I don't have one to try. There's a nice little pin loop here. And then yeah, it's just whatever you wanna throw in here. So I got pencil pouch, Matsuda here, you could throw shoes in if you need to and i got a water bottle at 90 dollars, the fuse box is a great deal for someone who plays sports you know you could hang your stinky equipment off the front so it doesn't get the inside of the bag stinking uh someone who goes on adventures same use case is really rugged this base camp duffel material or maybe you're someone who just likes a compliment every now and again or someone saying look at that backpack this will work for you too. It's awesome. Good work, North Face. Textbook capacity test with the Kodak photography books. I'm gonna go horizontal because this fuse box is a beast. So I'm gonna say this would fit 26 Kodak photography books. That's the winner so far, capacity wise. An iconic design from our friends over in Sweden. This bag was designed in 1978 to help relieve the back pain of children who had to lug all their heavy books to school. It's one of the world's most popular backpack designs. Let's talk about it. This is the Fjallraven Kunken. I've looked up how to say this. I'm not sure. My southern inner person wants to say Fjallraven Kunken, but I think it's Fjallraven Kanken. You know the bag. You've seen it before. It comes in a lot of different variations and a whole heap of colors. Let's get into it. The Kanken is a no frills design. On the back here, you got thin nylon straps. They do have snap closures to keep them in place if you're not wearing them. There is a top handle. It's the same nylon strap folded over, so a little more padded than the strap, but not much. There's two side pockets on this bag. You're gonna need a real thin water bottle to fit in there, but it could be useful for a quick access for phone or for a charger or power bank or something like that. Uh, this is a nice little multi-purpose kind of EDC pocket. Got a MacBook charger, AirPods, keys. Obviously, if you're a kid in school, it's gonna be more like pencils and crayons and I don't know, what else? I haven't been in school in a long time. Right, let's get into the main compartment. Not a ton of stuff going on in here. It's just a basic open compartment. We got a pouch in here, nice Bellroy light, and a cap two from Evergoods. Uh, the one piece of organization in here is this laptop sleeve, sort of. It's not padded. It goes all the way to the bottom, so your laptop isn't necessarily protected by anything other than this frame piece, which they also say you can use as a seat pad. So if you're bringing this somewhere and the ground's dirty and you want to sit down, you can use it. But then you got to put it back in your backpack. I don't know. It's nice to have, and it's nice that it's removable if you need it to be. The Konkin is constructed with Vinylon, which is a synthetic fabric that feels natural with a little added durability. 
This bag is obviously gonna be a little small for someone my size, 5'11 and a half, but it's great for kids. There's even a mini for smaller kids. There's laptop sizes that have a padded sleeve, more protection for your laptop. There's a tote pack. There's a lot of different variations of this style. So if you like the aesthetic and you like fun colors, this is a great option to look at. Just make sure to check out all the different variations they have available. For $90, you can get your hands on this Swedish icon, the Konkin Classic. All right, textbook capacity test with the Konkin and the Kodak. That's 12 Kodak books for the Konkin. And it is a brick. That is a little unit. I guess our parents and grandparents weren't joking when they were like, we had to walk 10 miles to school with a lot of books. Not my fault, Diddy. The Rourke Passenger 27 liter bag here is not marketed for students, but it could be great for them, for some of them. Uh, someone like me, I went to college in a little hippie town in the mountains of North Carolina and every day was a new adventure and it didn't always involve class, although I was supposed to be there and most of the time I was. So if you're someone playing tug of war between roadside hikes off the Blue Ridge Parkway or the PCH or whatever your local scenic route is, the ruggedness, the durability and the expandability of this passenger bag from Rourke could be great for you. So let's take a look at it. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna jump in right to the main gripe here. The bottom of this bag is designed to sit up like this and it has this nice leather bottom, at least this colorway does, but I don't know what type of magic you would have to do to try and get it to stand up straight, but it's almost like what's the point of the leather bottom if it's never gonna be able to sit on it. Uh, so that's my one gripe. It's, it's not a huge deal breaker for me, but for some people they wanna be able to let their bag stand up where they are so they're not taking up a bunch of space. So. That's the one, that's the one downfall. It just is. The outer here is made with the ripstop nylon. We got some cool branding with flash point here. We got aqua guard zips to a small pocket where you can put a notebook or something like that. Uh, on the side, we got nice mesh, stretchy, gonna fit your now jeans style bottles. Pockets here, both sides. The back, the straps have a sternum strap. They are padded and ventilated, pretty nice. Uh, it's got kind of a quilted patchwork style back here. Not incredibly ventilated, but better than nothing. Maybe a little bit of air will get through there to keep you cool. The laptop access on this bag is from inside and outside, so you can get to it here if you want, and you can also get to it from the inside. Also on the back, there is this nice kind of blaze orange grab handle here. It's just folded over, it's not padded. The passenger has one more trick up its sleeve and that's this hidden pocket on the back, perfectly designed for a passport. Hence the name passenger. Also on the outside, you'll find these little clips here to get your roll top going. Underneath the roll top here, you'll find a nice AquaGuard sealed pocket, which is great for a phone or wallet keys or anything like that. This pocket is lined with a microfiber. The roll top section from the seam to the top is about 10 inches, so you get a good bit of expandability, but once you roll it twice, you're looking at about two thirds of that. The roll top here is a magnetic closure. Once we bust open the roll top, um, got a rain jacket, got a hip pack here from Wheelborn, and we got a 14 inch laptop. In front of the laptop sleeve, there is another little tablet document sleeve that's unpadded. Uh, no other organization in there, it's just, it's just a sack. You know, you can put whatever you need to in there. You can throw your books in there and some tech one day and then toss it all out in the afternoon, throw a bathing suit, some towels and a little cooler in there and go to the waterfall that day. Uh, it's really versatile and for that, I love it. I wish 21 year old me would have had it. As I believe I mentioned, this bag comes in a lot of fun different colors other than this one. I love this one, but it does come in a fun blue, a nice green, uh, maybe an orange. Uh, go check Rourke's website and you'll see. Depending on which color you pick, it'll be between 90 and 100 bucks right now. I think it's a great deal. 
And it's a great bag that'll get you, you know, up into class at 8 a.m. when the first bell rings and then out on the road after that last bell of the day is done ringing. Y'all know the deal, we gotta see how many books we can fit in here. Kodak capacity test for the Rourke passenger. I ran out of books again, but I'm saying you can fit 20 Kodak photography books in the Rourke passenger 27 liter bag. Topo Designs. A pillar of travel, adventure, playful colorways, and always with the heritage vibes. You can always bank on good construction from Topo, durable bags, uh, and it, they're gonna be at a good value. So for that reason, they got not one, but two bags on the list today. Let's start with their newest design, the Session Pack. The outer of the Session is made with the recycled nylon. Uh, up front here on the smaller pocket, you're gonna find a little daisy chain for attaching items if you need to hang in your climbing shoes or your soccer cleats 26 ounce yeti on the water bottle pockets with a little room to spare uh, we got one of those on both sides on the back uh, there is a grab handle just one strip of nylon a little hook loop here if you want to hang it up with a hero clip or something like that straps are padded ventilated back panel not ventilated. Laptop access for this bag is on the outside, on the side panel here. Uh, 14 inch, yes. 16 inch, not gonna cut it. Getting into this front pocket here, again, you got this little daisy chain if you need to throw on something. This is a welcome sort of admin panel area. There's not one like it on the other day pack. Got a key leash, which we appreciate. We got this kind of neon green, yellow, High vis interior, got a wallet, AirPods, and then a little more room at the bottom for chargers or anything like that that you'd want to throw in there. So we appreciate a little admin space, you know? No organization inside, but for a school bag, it's perfect. You know, you can just throw your books in there, throw a notebook in there, you should be good to go. All right, second up from Topo, we got the Day Pack Classic. This is a design they've had around for a while. So great fun colorway here. We got a purple loop. We got a golden logo down here. We got some blue at the bottom, some golden pull tabs. On the front, we have a leather lash tab. The session pack has the daisy chain. This has this leather tab here where you can put shoelaces through or something like that. This is a nice recycled nylon outer here. On the back, the straps are similar to the session pack. They're padded, they're ventilated. These have a couple D-rings here. The back panel is also like the Session Pack. It's not incredibly padded and it's definitely not ventilated. So if you sweat a lot, you're gonna sweat a lot. On the front is a nice tall pocket. It's got the green high-vis kind of interior, but I would stick to like calculators and notebooks for this because things are gonna drop to the bottom and get a little hard to find like they usually are with these taller pockets without organization. Also on the back, we have a external laptop sleeve. This is gonna fit your 14 inch laptops, not a 16. There are also water bottle pockets on both sides. That'll fit that 26 ounce Yeti I have here. It's pretty snug, um, but it's nice that it fits. Let's go ahead and jump inside here. Got a big old pouch. Inside you get the high vis green, yellow, neon look. It's gonna be easy to spot your items in here. There's another laptop sleeve. This one's unpadded and also goes to the bottom of the bag, so be careful dropping it. This one will fit a 14 and a 16 inch, which makes this bag really versatile depending on what type of laptop you're carrying. If you're not carrying laptops, you can hold books in here, notebooks, and other than that, no real organization, um, just a great book bag design and great quality that's gonna last you for a long time. The newer session bag here is gonna run you about 90 bucks and the day pack classic will be 100. These are both rad backpacks to head back to school with a little style, but let's put them to the real test and see how many books we can fit in here for the Kodak capacity test.
11 photography books for the day pack classic. And let's check out the session packs capacity here with the photography books. Sixteen photography books in the new session pack, which is a little cheaper than the day pack classic. So, photography book for dollar, this is a killer value. This next section I was gonna call the back to school study abroad edition, but since only the 15 liter version of this bag was available, we're gonna call it the back to school city kids edition. In all seriousness, PackSafe is a purpose-driven brand focused on keeping your items safe. I don't want to overhype any headlines, but the world can seem a little dangerous today. And this bag, the Go Anti-Theft Backpack from PackSafe, and it's not so tiny Big Brother, the 25 liter version, will help you have peace of mind when you're going out in areas that might be a little sketchy or a little dangerous. Fun fact, this bag is made from recycled plastics that are equal to about 21 water bottles. On both sides, we have water bottle pockets. I don't have a water bottle that's gonna fit into these, but I'm sure the 25 liter bag has more normal sized water bottle pockets. The straps are slash proof. There is a luggage pass through on the back here. My first and favorite security feature is this turn and lock clip here. It makes it so you can take the strap off and then if you're riding on a train or you're in a coffee shop or you're a kid and you're sitting outside somewhere but you wanna go play in the park, I don't know, whatever you wanna do, you can hook this around something secure and if someone tries to yank this bag while they're breezing by, if you're not paying perfect attention, it'll kinda of stop them in their tracks. They could figure it out if they had time. Hopefully it'll give you that moment to recognize what's going on. But if you're a kid, just be safe. Underneath the luggage pass through is a small pocket. Uh, this will be up against your back. You have some money, some cash or something like that. It'd be a good place to keep it. Second security feature we got here is a little zipper keeper. Kind of holds the zipper in place. So you got to really give it a yank. It makes you think for a second. And inside of this pocket, we got a key leash. This bag also has a carry handle. It's just a folded over nylon. All right, the next security feature of the Pack Safe Go here is down inside of the water bottle pocket, there is a little clip that holds the zipper in place. That way, if someone tries to yank it, it's not going anywhere. And then we will get inside the bag here. A little pencil pouch and another pouch here. Getting into the main area here, we have a small little tablet sleeve that's padded. On the front, there is an RFID safe pocket here to keep your credit cards safe, prevent identity theft. There's also a pen loop, but other than that, it's just a nice little book bag. So this is a specialty product from a specialty brand. It might not be for everyone, but the features are well thought out, well implemented, and it's kind of the ultimate version of I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Uh, this 15 liter is gonna run you $110, and the 25, when it comes back in stock, will be $120. You know it, let's see if this can fit a couple Kodak books. That's 10 Kodak books in the pack, say 15 liter, that's pretty impressive. I think this is bringing into question the efficacy of my Kodak book capacity test, but maybe it's just showing how great PackSafe is at designing bags. Did y'all think I was gonna forget this one? No way. This is the out of office from Eastpac, but it doesn't matter that it's Eastpac. Jan Sport makes one, uh, Alpha Industries makes one like this. This is a classic book bag. If you got money to spend, 1733 makes a, a kind of a riff on this design that's really cool, comes in a lot of different fabrics uh, when they're available. This is a perfect bag. This is a classic bag. I love this thing. Uh, this is the exact, almost exact version of what I carried in high school, a purple East pack. I got into a little trouble. I made a few good grades, you know, made some friends. It's. It's like a piece of my heart here. <laughs> it's my carry history, but it's simple. This thing is bare bones, you know? We got abnormally rigid and thick 
padded straps. A back panel that's slightly padded but not really ventilated. A nylon loop. We got a big pocket on the front here to throw your calculator in, your pencils. What has changed since I was in high school is they've added a laptop sleeve and a little mesh quick access pocket. So nice minimal upgrades to the design. If they had gone overboard, it just would have been too much. Keep it classic. There's no padding in here other than the laptop sleeve. It's just, it's great. It'll last way longer than you think. There's not much to say other than it's perfect. You can't go wrong. It'll always be in style. There's plenty of people that make them. There's plenty of colors to choose from. This is like the Rosetta Stone of Carrie in my mind. It's $63. It's a little more than I thought it would be, but why not have a classic like this in your closet somewhere? How many books do you think it'll fit? Another reason that this out of office or just basic book bag design is perfect. It'll fit 17 vintage Kodak photography books from the 80s. So not many other bags can say that, that are $60. All right, y'all, thanks for spending some time with me geeking out about school bags, going down memory lane a little bit. And uh, if you can do me a favor, hit us with a like, a subscribe, ring the little bell icon so you know when we at Cariology are dropping new content for you. Thank you kindly and have a good one.